Okay, we're back with our lighthouse painting. Now, what I thought would be nice would be to get a flat brush, a fairly small flat brush like this, and you can put black on it and put a few more rocks. I thought it'd be nice to put a few rocks down here, a few extra ones. So just make a line and then a hump, and then just fill it in. And you got a rock. And we can always extend it out to the back there to give it some more shape. We'll give it more shape when we when we uh, add some highlights to it. We'll probably put another rock in front of that one. There we go. Another rock. This, the ocean's full of rocks and water and waves and all kinds of stuff. So let's see what we can do with this. Alright, so you, then you can put another rock wherever you want them. It's up to you. I'll, I'll let you decide where you like to have your rocks. Alright, maybe just another one out here in the back just to give it some shape. Maybe there's a little tiny one around here somewhere. So all you got to do is put a line underneath and then make a little hump and then we'll straighten that out after. Okay, so maybe we'll have another one down here in the corner. Just a couple of little rocks to say that uh, this is getting close to the shore. And there's some rocks down there, so... Because we know the water is pretty deep out in the back there. When you get here, it might be just a little bit closer to the shore, so... There's going to be more rocks. Okay, so there's your rocks. Pretty simple. Okay, so you could probably have another little one out here. And just push it back a little bit. So just play with your rocks till you get the shape you're looking for. That's just a basic start to them. You, you just do your little line and then you fill them in with black. Here we go. They're not black enough. Just put some more in there. And then we will have those rocks there. Good. Now what we'll do is we can highlight those rocks. So just put a little bit of uh, white on your brush, a little bit of white, and probably wipe off your brush so you don't have too much on there. And just start at the, st at the top and, and move your brush all on the top, okay? Just on the top and then move it around. And then we'll just get some shapes. And what you can also do is you can dry brush, put a little bit of blue into your uh, white, a little bit of blue, so it won't be too white, and just take it as too much. So you can always go back and fix it if you don't like it. Okay, and as you can see, I don't like that. So I'm going to wipe off my brush and dry brush a little bit here on top of this one. So I cleaned off my brush and now I'm just scrubbing in whatever's left over on my whatever's left over on my brush and take some of that there and scrub that in because I had too much. So we'll just scrub it in, move it around. And this is just to, to get them started. This is not the total highlight on them. I'm just trying to get some shape to your rocks. And then you just take, start from the top, wipe your paint off, and just move it around. Move it around. You start from the top and move it around, and that way you'll be able to have a, a good a start to your rocks. There we go. Okay. Like I said, this is not the total highlight. This is just trying to get them shaped up a little bit. So we'll just highlight them for now with the white and a little bit of blue. We'll just move that around. Now if you lose your black, just go back in with some black and put that back in there. Okay. All right, so shape them up a little bit and have a little bit of white 
on top, white and blue. Just start at the top, and it's round, and then move your brush around. Start at the top, and move your brush around. And we'll get some shapes going on here now. And we'll try this one over here. Just take the top, move it around. There we go. Good. So all we did right there is just figure out what way we want our rocks. If you get too much paint on, just wipe it off in your tissue. Just put a little bit on top and move your brush around. That's all. You want a little bit more on the back of this one here. A little bit on, wipe your brush off, move it around. Good. Now you can find more rocks in there by, there's one right here. Just move it around. Perfect. Let's see if we can find some more. How about one right here? Ooh, good. There we go, another rock. I think I see one right here. And here. Okay, so what we can do now is we can add a little bit of, let's go with a little bit of brown and a little bit of red. A little bit of brown, a little bit of red, a little bit of yellow, just to get any colors you want. And go on the back of that and pull down, pull down like that. Pull down, pull down. Just pull back from the top down to the right. We'll even add more to that. Now we'll, we'll add a little bit, have a little bit of yellow. A little bit of yellow might do nice. There we go. Just a little bit. Just a tiny bit. Just so that we can see. There might be a bit of sun or something. We don't get a lot of sun in Newfoundland. But we do okay. Alright. There we go. So we just put a little bit of highlight on those rocks. I don't want too bad. Too much. So... Then you can take your brush and clean it off and then move it around a little bit. All right. There we go. Good. Now, all I want to do now is show you is to get your fan brush and get your fan brush and add some white your fan brush with a little bit of blue. I always like that a little bit. I like to tone it down a little bit because too much white just stands out too much and doesn't look natural. I use that for highlights. And what you're going to do is you're going to take your brush and go underneath these rocks to make a few little waves coming out from the rocks. There we go like that. Just like that. Take your fan brush and gently roll some of this water out. Same with under here. There we go. And under here, under every rock, and pull out in front of the rock. Just I'm just doing it gently. That's why you're getting these little ripples, which is kind of nice. And underneath here. There we go, just some little ripples going underneath the rocks. There we go. Just take your fan brush and underneath the rocks, underneath the rocks. Good. Yep. And then you can just add a few little ripples here and there. And if your hand shakes, that's a good thing because now you're getting these ooh, little, 
little ripples on the go. So we think that the water may be moving up towards that rock. So I'm going to take my fan brush and I'm going to touch and pull back, touch and pull back, touch and pull back, touch and pull back, touch and pull back. And, pull back. and that'll get your little wave started that's going to hit your rock. Touch and pull back. There we go. And then you're going to take some blue and some white on the edge of your fan brush. Just tap in a little bit of a splash there. Just tap that on there. Maybe there's a little bit of a splash here. Or maybe a little bit, tiny bit here. Just moving up, moving up the rocks. There we go. Just moving up the rocks. There. I don't know how how much of a wave is there today. Depends on the wind, I guess. And then just take pure white. Just take pure white and on the corner of your brush, my brush is still a bit dirty, but that's good, and just tap on some of the white to make that splash look nice and bright. It's okay for it to go over the rocks. All right. Now you can take your time and it doesn't have to be exactly like mine because like I say, I'm just trying to do this for the video and I'm in a little bit of an awkward position here, but I'm doing my best to hopefully you can, you can get some idea how things work, what brushes to use. And you can, um, what you can do, there's lots of things you can do with this painting. You can, you know, clean up your edges, clean up your edges over here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to add a bit more yellow and I'm going to add white to my yellow on my fan brush. And I'm going to add a little bit more highlight here. I'm just going to tap it on. Okay. Just tap it on just so that it looks like it's a little bit sparkly there. Just a little bit, clean your brush and add more white. Then we'll get it to brighten up a little bit for you. I'm just tapping it on so that we can make it look like it's a few little sparkles back there. Oops. Oops, 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 oops. Okay. And then you can move across here and move across here. And if you do that and make a mess and doesn't you're not happy with it, just take some blue and go back in with your blue. And then go back in with your your yellow. See this is how you fix things. This is how you can you can go back and forth. Go back and forth with your painting. Okay, so if you're not happy with that up there, which I'm not, I'm going to take it out and at least I can show you how to do this. So this is a good thing that, that these things are happening because now I can show you how you can put it back again. See? Simple. You can even move it over here, move it around, straighten it out. Go back in some blue. Just go back and forth. There we go. You can take a little bit of white and a little bit of yellow and get up here in this corner if you can. I'm use my other hand. Now I'm not right handed, so this is going to be tricky. Oh, yeah. There we go. I'm, you can put a little wave up here. All right. Just moving around a little bit to get some little waves on the go and then you can straighten up your your horizon line see by just putting in little bits of waves there we go little waves and probably another one right here and we'll put back in some of those little sparkles that we started off with 
So we'll take some white and some yellow and just tap some little sparkles. Maybe you used corner your brush, you might get better results. There we go. Good. Now what you can do now is go in the pure white and tap on some more little sparkles in the back here. And that makes it look like the, the sun is shimmering on your canvas or on your water. And here's another thing that I do too. I sometimes take my toothpick. I take a toothpick and put white on the top of it. Then I can make some nice little more sparkles. Tap, 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 tap. Tap, 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 tap. So, and if you tap those on, it, it looks like they're shimmering. It's the more you tap on, the more shimmering it looks. Some of these are a bit big. I like to have them smaller than that, but so we get too much, just move them around. And I mean, this this is a long process, so you can do them all the way down if you like. And uh, so if you want to do some more highlights under your rocks, just take your brush and bring over a little bit of paint. There we go. Now don't do yours exactly like mine because my because like I said I can't I'm not able to just take my time I don't want to take up you know the whole video of just me puttering around with this but you can so you just take your time and, and play with your paint go back in with some blue right and go back and forth down here And go back and forth with the blue and the, and also some green or yellow. I'll put some yellow in there to green it up a little bit. There we go. And you can play with that for hours and hours. So I'm gonna see if I can stand up to get get the, get that back in there. Let's see, let's see. There we go. Oh, there we go. Now I can move my hand around better. So, I want to darken that up a little bit. I'm going to add a little bit of black to my blue so I can darken it up a little bit. So you can go back and forth and, and do all kinds of stuff. Darken it up. Darken it up again. So just add a little bit of black to your blue. And darken it up a little bit. Just go back and forth, back and forth. And you just go in there and see how that went back to nice color. And I'm just going to put a little bit of blue here and play a little bit of white I didn't and throw a little bit of up over that rock there. So I'm just playing now just to show you the things that you can do for a bit of fun. Make your paintings fun. Don't go getting too caught up on this is wrong and that's wrong. You can see what I'm doing. I'm just having a grand old time here. And uh, and I'm getting some nice results and some I'm not. So I'm going to play with this little part up here. So I'm going to go back in here see what I did. I made a mess, right? So now I'm going to go back and fix it. So I'm just going to go back in with some darker paint. And I'm going to... Put my blue back in there. I want to straighten this up up here a little bit. Okay. See? It's so easy to fix. And you can put some more yellow back in there again. Some yellow and, and with your blue and that will give it those nice colors. There we go. And you can even add a bit of white go in with a bit of white if you want and go back and forth. See there's so many things you can do. Now I'm just playing here for a minute just to show you that you can actually do whatever